Hi, I'm Chelsea from Chelsea Stratton Designs, and today I'm here in my mom's sewing studio to share a new strawberry lemonade quilt with you, Sunshine Girl. This one means a lot to me. It has a lot of sentimental value because it is inspired by my mom, and I will share more about that with you once we get into this video. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so I am really, really excited to talk more about Sunshine Girl. This quilt measures 74 and a half inches by 88 inches, and it is fat quarter friendly. You get a lot of usage from all of your fat quarters, so it's great if you pre-ordered a fat quarter bundle. This is honestly the perfect quilt top for that. And I kind of want to tell you a little story. You might have seen this on social media, but Sunshine Girl is inspired by my mom. She loves the ocean and she loves being in the sun. And we would take family vacations to the beach and she just loved being there. And I feel like that kind of started myself and my siblings love for being at the ocean. And when I was designing this, I really had her in mind and thought of her and all of the different color combinations and how bright it is really reminded me of that. And I found some old pictures I had posted on social media, but I just love kind of that family tradition we had. And they also, my parents took my oldest to the beach and kind of shared that with her, which was really cool. So this quilt is very, very special to me. And something that is really cool about it is you're not just using two different prints in one block. You're using four because you are um, utilizing the low volumes from your fat quarter bundle. Now, not all of my quilts utilize the, the low volumes in the blocks. So this one, you're really getting the most out of your fat quarter bundle. So all of the blocks have a low volume center. And then you have two contrasting prints. You have the inner square contrasting print and that matches your outside corners. And then you have your star points and that matches this portion of the corners in the block. But I originally had just had this star and then I thought, no, it would be so fun to add a little strip of a different print in there. So lots of prints. I couldn't stop coming up with different color combinations for this one. And I think it is probably out of, my mom was telling me out of all the, the quilts that we designed, this one probably has the most color combinations in it to show. So love, love, love this one if you can't tell. And still guys, confident, probably confident beginner friendly. The pattern has incredible graphics and visuals for you and it's very, I think it's well written enough that it's easy to follow. Now, I because there's so much going on in the blocks, I actually did do sashing in this quilt. I needed a little bit of separation from everything that was going on, but it kind of made this really cool, like it kind of looks like an alternate, an alternate block that shows off all of the different prints and colors in it. I really love that. I think it's so cool. So I, I think that adding some space in this one particularly was a good idea to just give it some room, some breathing room. Marion Bott did the quilting on this. I, she has been doing a lot of swirls lately and I, and I really, really like it. I think it turned out cute. It's an all over panto for the whole quilt and just adds a lot of good texture. My quilter does it, she makes it a little bit more dense, which is nice. And Bella 200 is the match for the background if you're not going to order the tone on tone pinwheel print. But if you talk to your shops, 
they might be getting some of the tone on tone pinwheel print in stock. And the reason I would choose that is it adds more texture because it actually has a print on it as well. Okay, so as you know, I normally don't go for a print color border and I did kind of lay out a low volume one and I just didn't feel good about it. And this triple floral with the dots in the background, you guys, is one of my favorite prints in the whole collection. It comes in, I think, three other colors and I love it. I love this kind of strawberry red color mixed with this aqua gingham binding. You guys, it's so cute. I love it so much. So this was my border option. I honestly did gingham binding on, I think, all of my quilts but one. So loved the aqua. And then I have one more quick story to share. I'm going to flip this over. So I had finished this quilt top and I needed to get it to my quilter. And I was kind of rushing to finish it and I went to go start cutting my backing and I didn't get enough from Moda because for our sample yardage, they send us backings for the sample quilts and I miscalculated on the backing. And I called my mom and I said, I am not going to get this quilt to Marion today because my mom was taking it in. And she said, oh yes you are because you have the hexi print 60 inch wide backing and she saved me guys she really did so i went and i got my 60 inch hexi wide backing and i whipped this thing together so quickly and it worked out perfect and so i'm really really happy that i ended up that my mom recommended this because it kind of saved me in in a time crunch and it is adorable. So if you are considering uh, backing, please consider the Hexi backing because it is so pretty and I don't think it could have fit a quilt more perfectly. I love that it was with Sunshine Girl. So I love this backing and thought that it was a great option and my mom really came through for me on that recommendation. So this is just a great quilt. It's a lot of fun to make and really gets you a good use of your fat quarter bundle and all of the prints and everything in the collection. Just goes together really well. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed taking a closer look at the Sunshine Girl quilt. And remember that Strawberry Lemonade Fabrics are shipping in January 2024. So be on the lookout, but the Sunshine Girl pattern is available now in paper and PDF. So that will be linked in the description of this video. And if you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you subscribe and be a part of this community. So thanks so much for stopping by.